Warriors game of the week. All right, Kent Wood in black, Kent Lake, they're gonna be wearing their red and white. There's a Kent Lake fan in the stands all bundled up for the cold spring weather. How about the curveball working for Avery Kane at the end of the first inning? Big hook, and then how about another one? No answers for that from Kent Lake Kane, looking like Matt Kane in my Giants. Opportunity here for Kentwood, but Taylor White hits into a double play ball to end the third inning. So let's see some scoring, shall we? Kent Lake now with a runner on second base. He's going RBI single in the bottom of the third. is going to plate number 34, Austin Williamson. He comes chugging around home. Williamson scores on the single. Then Kent Lake's Jake Ross at the plate, and Ross delivers. Right back up the middle, fielded cleanly by the center fielder, but not before another run comes home for the Falcons, and they're rolling. Kentwood has a player by the name of Zach Corpas, and he's gonna come running into your picture from third. No need to slide, Corpas in there on the wild pitch in the top of the fourth. Now we move to Kentwood's Ben Cox, hitting a two-run RBI single in the top of the fourth, and the Conquerors are plating some runs. They explode in the middle innings of this game. They're gonna score 15 runs in this one. That's called foreshadowing. Kentwood has more highlights coming. JT Evenson is gonna score here on a bases loaded walk. That's how bad it got for Kent Lake. And Kentwood wins 15 to nine is the final. All right, last week was a thriller. It came down to the wire. We count the votes at 2 p.m. sharp people. So cast your votes. Get online early and often at theseattletimes.com or thevarsitynews.com. These are the choices this week. Bainbridge versus O'Day soccer. Puyallup, Beamer, soccer. How about Sumner, Franklin Pierce, softball. University prep versus Cedar Park Christian, baseball on Thursday. And then one Saturday game, Skyline versus Mercer Island. Go online at thevarsitynews.com, seattletimes.com. Cast your votes. We close the polls at 2 p.m. sharp. So whoever's in the lead at 2 o'clock is who we're going to feature.